For years, Dawn didn't feel right, but she couldn't find relief. I was going to the chiropractor a lot because I had pain like in my ribs and in my neck hurt a lot. My vision was bad. I fell a lot. I was exhausted all the time. Dawn didn't know that she had hyperparathyroidism, a condition where the parathyroid glands become overactive. Hyperparathyroidism is one of the most underdiagnosed conditions in the United States. You know, it's so often that I see patients in clinic who have been suffering for years and they've been given different labels or different diagnoses, but nobody's been able to put it together to sort of say this is the problem. Dr. Rebecca Sippel, an endocrine surgeon at UW Health, was able to provide help. Dawn learned of Dr. Sippel on a Facebook support group for hyperparathyroidism. I went on that Facebook group and somebody there from Delaware had actually come to UW-Madison and had surgery with Dr. Sippel. And she's like, Dr. Sippel's awesome. And I had sent Dr. Sippel an email like on a Thursday afternoon. And she got back to me an hour later. I had sent her my labs. She said, this is what you have. I will have my nurse call you and schedule surgery. So that was a Thursday afternoon. And by Monday, I had surgery scheduled for less than a month later. We have four surgeons who have dedicated their practice to doing parathyroid and thyroid surgery. And those surgeons do a high volume of parathyroid surgery. And what that does is it just gives you a breadth of experience to be able to sort of know what's normal, what's not normal, how to identify glands when it's not completely obvious. And the more experience you have in dealing with that situation, the higher the success rate at curing it at the first operation. In Dawn's case, a large benign tumor the size of a golf ball was causing her problem. Dr. Sippel was able to remove it with a minimally invasive procedure. And soon after that procedure, Dawn's life changed. It was almost instant. We went to my mom's on Thanksgiving and I ran up the stairs and she said, I haven't seen you go up the stairs like that in 10 years. That was the next day. The pain in my feet went away. My neck and shoulder pain got better. After years of feeling exhausted, Dawn had so much energy that she ran for public office and added another part-time job at her church. I do feel like after my surgery, I did so much more. There are things that I didn't realize I wanted to do because I didn't have the energy. It is absolutely the most rewarding aspect of doing what I do is to see these patients at their post-op visit, to realize that you can do such a minor operation and have such a profound impact on somebody's quality of life and to really just change things that they didn't think could get better.